oh boy, man, the New Jersey Devils are going to be the team to watch. Earlier in this offseason, we already made a video talking about Tyler Toffoli guy that was acquired from the Calgary Flames. He didn't want to re-sign there in Alberta, so now he is on the Devils. And we discussed the impact that he could make on this brand new team. Now, Toffoli, if you're not aware, is a pretty big fan favorite of people who watch this YouTube channel in particular. He was an LA King, then he was a Canuck, then he was a Canadian, and then he was a Flame, and now he is a New Jersey Devil. He has gone the rounds amongst teams that have pretty big fan bases and... For a guy like me who cheers for Vancouver and Montreal, it was very nice seeing him suit up for both of these teams. However, today we are talking about Toffoli and the limited sample we have seen in the preseason so far, and some comments he had made regarding those former teams and how they relate to his teammates today. You had yourselves a few preseason games where Tyler Toffoli was playing on the top line with Jack Hughes and Jesper Bratt. Very good players, very talented, and of course, if you had been watching these games against the Islanders and then against a few other teams, you would have seen that the chemistry is really darn good. Tyler Toffoli does not have the wheels that Jack Hughes has. He doesn't have the same mobility. That's always been like the biggest problem with his game. But when it comes to what Toffoli does well, he's a very strong catch and go kind of shooter. He plays well on the boards. He has a good defensive mind. And even though his foot speed isn't the best, he is still able to keep up with his great positioning and his offensive IQ. Toffoli is a very good piece. And playing with Hughes and Brat, he has been a very nice cog in that machine. However, just how good has this been, and how good does Tyler Toffoli himself feel about this transition? Well, here's a comment that he made a few days ago to the media regarding this fact. No offense to the other guys I've played with, but Jack Hughes is one of, if not the most, talented players he has ever played with. Tyler Toffoli is giving all the praises to Jack Hughes, and rightfully so. Hughes is a very talented player, he's going to get 100 points this year, his speed dominates and his shot has improved over the past two seasons, there's no telling just how good Jack Hughes can be. In fact, both of the Hughes bros have improved their shot quite substantially over the past two years. But Jack, as the number one center in New Jersey, is a phenomenal, franchise-defining superstar player. For Toffoli, though, to go out there and say this in particular, that Jack Hughes is the most talented guy, the best player he has ever played with, it kind of got some people a little bit upset, and not because they don't like Jack Hughes, but because they took this as a little bit of a slight to their own favorite teams and their own favorite players. And you could hear that I'm smiling right now because this is kind of a petty topic. It's not really important. But what I wanted to do was kind of go over some of the names that Tyler Toffoli has indeed played with and debate whether or not Jack Hughes is better than these guys. Let's start out with this list here posted onto Big Head Hockey. Players Tyler Toffoli has played with. Starting out with Elias Pettersson. Now, I'm gonna go out there and say that Elias Pettersson is also a franchise-defining superstar center, but I'm gonna give Toffoli the benefit of the doubt. Because the thing is, when Toffoli played with Ilias Pettersson, it was only for a very small sample literally three years ago. Toffoli was acquired in February, I believe, of 2020, and then the pandemic hit, everything was shut down, and then he played with Pettersson in the bubble for the 2020 playoffs. Now, he had a regular season stint, too. He was kind of the sniper, replacing an injured Brock Besser at the time on that line with Petey. So, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt and say that Toffoli's version of Pedersen that he remembers playing with was the Pedersen from three years ago who had 60-something points in however many games. Not the guy who just got 100 points and is looking to get even higher highs in this upcoming year. Saying that Hughes today is better than that version of Petey? Totally fine. Now, Anze Kopitar, this is the next name. Kopitar played a bunch of years with Tyler Toffoli throughout the entire LA Kings stint that Toffoli had. Now, the thing with Kopitar is that he has never had the same highs that a Jack Hughes has had in terms of points. Kopitar's career high in points is 92, came in 2017-2018. Jack Hughes recently got 99. Now, there is a lot of value in the way that Kopitar plays the game, his two-way proficiency, his face-off winning ability, his clutchness, penalty killing, it's all there. 
But when you talk about absolute ceiling peak razzle dazzle type of material skill set, I think it's fair to say that Jack Hughes probably has that beat on Kopitar. Tyler Toffoli has also played with Quinn Hughes, and it's a little bit of a different debate because Quinn... I mean, look, the guy's a captain. This was also three years ago. Quinn was a rookie when Toffoli had played with Quinn Hughes before. So I'll give the pass there, too. And you think about it, Quinn Hughes is a defenseman. It's a little bit different to compare. I will say that Quinn Hughes, in my opinion, just has a bit better edge work than Jack at this moment. Jack, I think, has better pace, and he's a lot better playing the game north-south, I think Quinn Hughes has better pivots and can kind of spin his way out of danger a little bit easier, but that's just me. Jonathan Huberto. This is a player that Toffoli played with in Calgary. Add to this, you have Matthew Kachuk, too, from the Calgary Flames last year. These two guys, very great players. Top-tier, 100-point guys, except when Huberto declines one of the biggest declines we have seen ever in NHL history from one season to the next. But still, very good players, is Jack Hughes better than Matthew Kachuk? I honestly don't know about that. If you had to ask me, fantasy draft, one season take all, I feel like Matthew Kachuk with the penalty minutes, with the physical edge, everything in there makes him a more complete player than Jack. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Jack Hughes can get more points as he gets older. So we'll see where that argument lies. And then you have a few other guys that are tossed around in there, too. Marion Gabarik, Toffoli played with in L.A. Cole Caulfield is a much different kind of player than Jack Hughes is. Caulfield is the sniper. He is the guy that is probably going to be the first Canadiens goal scorer to hit 40 goals in decades. And he's going to make it look easy. Caulfield is just another beast of goal scoring. Of course, he's a little smaller. He is a little bit less pacey than Jack Hughes is, but Caulfield definitely does have a great talented skill set behind him, too. It's just if you had to choose one, I think it's fair to say Hughes. It's just Caulfield has not played a full season yet, so we'll probably have to wait a bit till he has a full sample size to really judge. But of course, from right now, saying that Hughes is better than Caulfield, yeah, totally okay. You also have guys like Elias Lindholm, Logan Couture in juniors, Sean Monahan in juniors, Tyler Toffoli going out there and saying that all of these guys are not as good as Jack Hughes. Honestly, it makes sense. And even the guys at the very top, if you wanted to pull your weight and say, okay, yeah, I'd rather have Hughes than Pedersen, there's an argument that exists for that, and I'm not going to say that it's incorrect. So wherever your opinions lie, Elias Pedersen, Jack Hughes, Kopitar, Quinn Hughes, Huberdeau, Caulfield, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about Tyler Toffoli's comments? Obviously, these are just comments. He's going to be gassing up his teammates either way. Like, of course, you're going to find a guy talking good things about his teammate. It happens all the time. But how valid are these assessments right here? Do you think that Jack Hughes is indeed the most talented player that Tyler Toffoli has ever played with? The argument exists, but I just wanted to get some thoughts out there, especially from the fans that aren't necessarily Devils fans. This guy, Tyler Toffoli, was a pretty big fan favorite in Vancouver for the short time he was here, and then in Montreal, going to the finals with Caulfield, etc. I mean, look, Nick Suzuki was on that Stanley Cup Finals team, too. So if you want to talk about Suzuki, the two-way stability of Philippe Deneau, Shea Weber, of course, Carey Price is in there, but goalies are way different. It's tough to say, oh yeah, Carey Price is better than Jack Hughes. Like, come on. But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about all the players that Tyler Toffoli has played with in the past and whether or not Jack Hughes really is better than all of them. I hope you enjoyed this British Irish Rolls 99, and bye. <laughs>